life would be impossible without music. Right. Playing the cello gives me a chance to express all my emotions and I do it in different pieces. It's like, it's singing. Sajari is by far one of the most exceptional students I've ever had. Sometimes I think that Sajari must have played the cello in another lifetime. Vibrate. My name is Sajari Britt. I'm 11 years old and I play the cello. The first A flat. when she was about two years old. She would tinker on the, the piano, but then we noticed that she was actually playing the piano at around age two. So my husband, you know, started giving her piano lessons. And then I heard Yo-Yo Ma playing Camille Sassan's The Swan, and I simply fell in love with it. I was just like, I want to play that instrument. And so I said to my parents, I begged them actually, can I please play the, play the cello? And so after, you know, a year of bagging, I actually got my first one at age four. The reason I really wanted to play the cello is because it had a really deep tone. And my first cello, I named it My Voice because, you know, I'm a tenor and the cello is in the tenor level. Sometimes I think that Sajari must have played the cello in another lifetime because she has such a, an innate understanding of the instrument, as though she knew it before and she's just, just re-teaching her hands how to do this. As a father and musician, I see that she can do more than I could ever do. Age four, she, we had an instructor who very quickly told us, I don't have any more to give her. This girl has gobbled up everything I can you know, think of. We got introduced to the Manhattan School of Music by one of my first teachers. Manhattan School of Music is one of the three recognized top-notch echelon conservatories in New York City. So I auditioned and I got in. It was, it was amazing. It was a dream come true, you know? I was five when I did my first recital as a soloist. I've probably performed in over 50 concerts. Oh, I've actually gotten the opportunity to play with Elisa Weilerstein at the White House for President Obama in 2009. At the time, Sajari was eight years old. For like a few days in the hotel, I nearly died. I, I mean, I basically burned my fingers on the on the fingerboard, you know, because I was just like, practice, practice, practice. You have to be perfect, perfect, perfect. It was a really, really good experience. Sajari is playing materials that normally I would not give to a student. You were in the right place, you just kind of just, garbled to the end, yeah. 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 Marion Feldman is like my cello mother, even though she's really my teacher. She really pushes me hard, and I know it's for the greater good, and I really enjoy my lessons. My, I'm, here's normal. I'm hooked into that first finger. That's it. That's just make sure you get the beats in there, right? Dee, dee, dee. Good. Well, I usually get up in the morning around five, five-ish, you know, five thirty, so I can practice. She practices probably around six hours a day, but it's not six hours straight. Tomorrow I have a recital, and it's at Manhattan School of Music. Recitals are usually reserved for the seniors. I mean, that's, that's kind of their culminating work. 
while I'm backstage, I am hyperventilating basically and I'm going crazy. I'm just a little concerned about the pianist not being here, but I assume that she will be here. I mean, she knows, but I'm sure she'll be all right. Okay, right. Hey, here she is. So, oh. 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 the jari is playing two movements of the Elgar Concerto. The Elgar Concerto is extremely difficult. It's not. We're not talking about the notes and getting around the cello. That in itself is difficult enough. But the musical entity, the musical maturity you have to have to play into what the musical character is, that's something that is very difficult for an 11 and a half year old to do. I'm playing Elgar, I think I can put in every type of emotion. I feel as if me and the cello were just, were one. When I move my fingers, it's as if I'm putting it on like clouds or something. And I feel that when I play the music, I actually can possibly feel what the composer was trying to put into the notes. Watching Sajari perform, it's like looking into a dream. It is very, very, very difficult for a cellist to become a musician as a soloist. You have to really be exceptional. And Sajari is definitely that person. She has that capability. My goal is to become a professional soloist. I'll do everything that's possible, you know? When you get out there and you do your best, that's all you need to do.